Hi, everyone. Uh, it's really nice to see all of you again. I feel like I've not done a video in a really, really long time. Partly that is because I, I haven't really had any new ideas. Um, um, partly it's because I've been really, really super busy. Um, but I thought I'd give you all an update because there have actually been some changes. Um, I had my second um, blood test maybe a couple of weeks ago, to check my T levels. Um, I, I don't know if I ever mentioned, I'm still on the same dose, which is 250 milligrams, but they switched the interval from four weeks to three weeks. So I now have the joy of a huge needle in my butt every three weeks. Um, hopefully that's not going to decrease too much but yeah the reason for that was my trough value kept going really low if you don't know what a trough value is it's really easy to understand um the level is, is high so we've got a peak value when i first have the injection then it declines and it becomes a trough value and it was it was going lower than it needs to be so um decreasing the interval helps with that cool um you can probably hear my voice is actually going down in fact yesterday i was <laughs> i was in the car um, singing along really, really badly because I can't sing. Um, and my voice was doing this. So I, it's kind of going a bit teenagey, which is fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. It's cool. Um, it's cool. Um, sorry, I watched a video with Sarah Paulson imitating Evan Peters' voice and it just turned into this recursive spiral. It was so cool. Um, and it amused me. Uh, what else? What else is different? Well, I'm I'm touching wood. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, I I think my periods have stopped. I didn't have one last month. Um, I haven't had one yet this month. So hopefully, you know, the end is in sight for that particular uh, joy of uh, being born with a womb. Um, that that would be nice. Um, I'm, I'm really, like, sad that it doesn't show because my hair's really fair, but, um, I'm, I'm growing a moustache. I am actually growing a moustache. At the moment, it's kind of a weird, um, you know, no, you can't see it at all, but I'm, I'm growing, like, this weird, really fine, um, slightly fluffy pencil moustache kind of thing. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to maybe get that going a little bit more it's good um i actually I, I put the pencil that i use on my eyebrows on it the other day and it really it didn't look good because like on my eyebrows it just looks silver but um when i put it on my moustache it was like i'd been drinking a glitter smoothie or something uh, without a straw so not going to be doing that yeah but i'll i'll find some way making the moustache more obvious um I will at some point uh, be doing a video talking about trans people in healthcare because I was at work the other day. Uh, my colleague called me over and was like, oh, look at this, look at this. And I'm like, oh, will I like it? She's like, you won't. Apparently, there's just been a bit of a, an information gathering survey done with NHS nurses, general nurses, um, and less than 1% of qualified general nurses actually feel able and confident to meet the particular needs of a trans patient, um, which I think is appalling. Now we have this project, uh, it's called Transmission, that's going to be starting up a little bit um, in, a, in a little while in the trust that I work for, which I won't name, um, but it's, it's a big mental health trust. Uh, and that's the two people who are helming it, I uh, believe, well, at least one of them is trans. I know she's trans. Um, the other one, I have no idea. I've never met him. Um, his name is not familiar to me, but he could be as well. So as soon as that got around, it's like, oh, we need transmission. Um, I immediately went, hi, I'm really gobby. I'll come and talk to people. And um, so I'm, I'm hoping the transmission kind of gets off the ground a little bit and um yeah hopefully we're, we're gonna make some positive change but stupidly i didn't get my colleague to send me that report so i'm i'm just gonna 
go in and, and say, oh, that thing that you found, um, I'm going to get it, or I'll find it myself. And I will I will talk about trans healthcare because it's quite an interesting topic of conversation. And I don't mean the kind of healthcare that we receive from a gender clinic. I don't mean the drug monitoring, uh, the depot, anything like that, you know, prescriptions. What I mean is a, a trans person in a general healthcare setting who's just like, you know, broken their leg or something, uh, or they need some totally non-trans related surgery, you know. Like, I don't know, they've done something like me when I was a kid, shove a sultana up my nose so far that a doctor had to get in there with tweezers. I was a weird kid, but at least I didn't do it with Play-Doh, which is what my brother did. He liked the smell. A weird family. But anyway, um... That, that's really all that I wanted to say, you know, just give you a quick update. Uh, Apologise for how long it's taken me to get this video up. Um, I promise that I won't be such an enormous flake in future. That is a promise I probably won't keep, so take it with a very large grain of salt. Any salt, lithium, if you want. Um, no offence, if you're actually on lithium, by the way. So I, I think I'll probably go because I've, I've got quite a lot to do. I just got back from Edinburgh um, where I went to a Halloween party and met lots of very interesting people uh, and had a really, really good time. Um, best time you can have dressed as an X-Man. It was absolutely brilliant. So if you were at that party or, in fact, you held that party uh, and you're watching this, then hi, thank you for having me. It was an absolutely wonderful party and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And if you were at that party and you're watching this and you thought I was a massive jerk, um, I am, particularly when I've been drinking. So, uh, you know, we're, we're just going to blame that on the costume. Mm, yeah, because Quicksilver is a jerk, not me. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I've got a bunch of stuff to do, but take good care of yourselves. I have been and I continue to be Jonathan, and if you would like me to cover any particular topics or answer any questions, then please leave them in the comments below, or uh, you can ask me on Facebook, or if you have my private contact details or you actually know me, then just get in touch and ask. I'm really not shy. Oh, the other thing. There is one more thing, right? Body hair all over in general, really, is, is getting more. Um, but I, I have a treasure trail. I'm not going to show you. Um, I think my video might get removed if I do, but um, I've, I've got a treasure trail, um, which I didn't have before. And it's really weird. Um, I seem to like, I, I definitely have my dad's hair colour genes in me somewhere, because <laughs> even though I don't have the same hair colour as my dad or my mom, um, my um, new hair is kind of coming through a little dark, um, which is my dad's. My dad has black hair, so well, he doesn't anymore. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, hopefully I'm not going to end up like looking too much like my dad, which wouldn't be a terrible thing because, like, he's not ugly, but um, I'd rather not look like Jack Nicholson when I get older. Um, and, you know, I'd rather not look like my mom either, because uh, my mom is actually a dead ringer for Kathy Bates, which is a little spooky. Um, so I guess that makes me either uh, Donovan or Jimmy the Lobster Boy. No offence to anyone with syndactyly! I feel like I apologise far too often. Anyway, uh, I'm, I really am going to go. I realise I've rambled on. Love you all. Take good care. Mwah!